I'm wanting us all to look back and I want you to start thinking about some everyday things in France. For example, let's take a Notre Dame in Paris. What do most of the 70 million tourists who come to France every year, what do they think of it? What are your impressions? Well, I mean, a lot's obvious. It's a cathedral on an island in a river. It's got lovely stained glass windows, a few too many tourists, beggars, inside and out, hassling you. There are always long queues of crowds with their movie cameras out. Maybe it's just a tourist attraction. But what we must do is we must go back, we must think about this building as if it had just been built. Think about it 900 years ago and see how we would feel about it then. It was built on the Ile de la Cité and at one end of the island, it was the Royal Palace. On either side of the river, there was a local population. On the left bank, there was the Sorbonne, the great education centre even back then in the 12th century. But everywhere else around us were fields and market gardens. The land running, for example, from Notre Dame right across to the Eiffel Tower was a very rich market garden land. Now, we'll assume we were living out of Paris in around the early 1100s, and everyone was talking about this new church being built called Notre Dame. You couldn't help but not know about it because that's all people talked about. So anyway, you decided you'd set out across the country to see for yourself what this was all about. And you would have walked for several days across the fields, horse and cart, if you were fortunate enough to have such a, a luxury, and along the lanes to the Ile de la Cité in Paris. And as you arrived there, there in front of you would be this building. This building that was built of a scale and a beauty that had never been seen before. It was so large and so excessively beautiful from anything they'd ever seen before. And they would look at this building in complete and utter awe, in tears, wondering how man could create such a gift to celebrate and praise God. For if ever there was a place for, for the locals to have the perfect place for worshipping their God, then this was the place to be. Now, a cathedral such as this was such a huge change from the way they'd been brought up. They'd been brought up in a church that was built in the Romanesque style, that was a style that was austere, with no decorations, with the concept that there'd be no interference with the simplicity and the beauty and the austerity of one's relationship with God. But then here, here was this cathedral Notre Dame, that was so completely and utterly different. Everything had changed. The new style of architecture that they used, that, as you know, all became known as Gothic architecture, with its like large expanses of space, it's the arch frameworks which allowed these glorious works of stained glass windows that were colourful and vibrant and they were a true celebration of life. But how different this was to what they'd known. It was such a different way of expressing oneself. But life does change. Buildings change. Our cultures change. Their style of worship changed. We just move on. Of course, this also brings up the issue of religion, which back in the time of Notre Dame, the Middle Ages, of course, religion, it was their life. And when we consider it, many of their actions then are understandable today when we consider the importance of it then and today. There are so many ways to enjoy France. Whatever your plans, let France the French way show you how.